Welcome to the installation video for the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler. My name is Roger and I'll be guiding you through this process. The first thing you need to check is your operating system is compatible with this product. You can check this with your account manager or by visiting matriconopc.com and searching for Tunneler. For this demonstration I'll be using Matricon Windows 10 64-bit edition. Firstly, some prerequisites before commencing installation. You need to be logged in as a local administrator or a domain user that has local administrator rights. This is most important. The installer will ask you for Windows user credentials to run the Tunneler services with. It is a good idea to confirm you have these details prior to commencing installation. The credentials that you choose can be a local user or a domain user, but in any case must be part of the local administrators group and also have permissions to run services. If you have an IT provider, you can request this from them. If you provide your own IT management, I'll show you how to create a local admin user now. Start by opening Windows File Explorer. Right click on this PC and choose Manage. Click on Local Users and Groups. Click Users. Then right click on the right hand side pane and choose New User. Enter the new username and password. Disable user must change password at next logon. It is a good idea to enable password never expires and you may also want to enable user cannot change password as well. Click create and then click close. Double click on the newly created user, then choose the member of tab. Click add and type administrators. Then click check names and then OK. Click apply and OK. You can now close the computer management window as well and the file explorer window. You have now successfully created a Windows user account with local administrator permissions. Next we will need to set the user to be able to start Windows services. Click the Windows start button and type in SEC for security and then click local security policy. If you're using an older operating system you will have to click start then choose run and then type in secpol.msc that's s-e-c-p-o-l dot msc and then push enter. Expand local policies and then select user rights assignment. Locate the item that's called log on as a service and double click to open. If your user is in the list, please skip to the next section, otherwise click add user or group. Enter your new user and click check names. Then click OK once resolved. Click OK and close the local security policy window. You have successfully allowed your new user, which is an administrator, to log on Windows services. Finally, if you are using Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2, you must install Microsoft.NET 4.6 manually. If, like me, you are using Windows 10, you do not need to worry about this. This installation also includes free tools called Matricon OPC Explorer, which is a handy OPC test client, 
and Matricon OPC Server for simulation, which is a free test OPC server. In order for simulation server to be installed, please ensure that .NET 3.5 has been installed. Failure to install .NET 3.5 will result in simulation server not being installed. Here's how to install .NET 3.5 on Windows 10. Start by clicking the Start menu and then type Control and choose Control Panel. Click on Programs and then choose Turn Windows Features On or Off. Once the list has populated, choose .NET Framework 3.5. While we are here, let's enable the Telnet Client component, which we'll be using later for testing purposes. Click OK. In some cases, downloads may be required from Windows Update. Ensure your computer is internet enabled and then click Download from Windows Update. In a lot of cases, that will, this will not be required. When complete, close all windows. One final item to consider is the naming of your computer. If you are planning on renaming the computer, we recommend doing this prior to installation. Now that the prerequisites are complete, we can move on to installing the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler. Start by double clicking the installer. Click Yes on the User Account Control window. It may appear that the installer has not been run as it will disappear for a while after this dialogue. Please be patient as it may take a while to reappear. If prerequisites are required, the installer will advise you of this. Click next to continue. The install wizard will appear once prerequisites have been met. Click next to continue. Accept the license agreement and click next. Enter your user credentials, starting with the username. If you are using a Windows domain user, be sure to enter the domain, then a backslash, then the user. If you are using a local user, enter a full stop, then a backslash, and then the username. Enter the password, and click Next. In the case where the user doesn't exist or the password is incorrect, this message will appear. Click OK and correct the condition, and then re-attempt the user credential entry. Unless you need to customise your installation, I would recommend proceeding with the Express Setup. Click Next. Choose the appropriate license option. For new users, leave this on the default of I wish to install a 30-day license for this software. Note that previous installed licenses will remain in the Windows registry even if you have uninstalled a previous installation. So be sure to choose the appropriate option for your situation. Click Next. The installer is now ready to proceed. Click Next to continue. This process may take a while.
When completed, this window will appear. Click Finish and Reboot if the installer requires you to. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler. This concludes this video. Thanks for joining me.